Hey everyone, it's Moon Moth Goddess. Welcome back to the channel if you're returning. Welcome if you're new and welcome to today's pick a card reading. We're asking spirit today, does your person truly care for your connection? So we're going to try to get some messages with the tarot as well as the oracle to see how your person is feeling about you and the connection um, so that you know whether this is something that you should wait for or something that you should move on from. So keep in mind that these are general readings. If you need something more specific for your situation, I am open for uh, private readings. And you can find my email down below in the drop down or description box. Um, you can send me an email and I will provide you on information on booking readings with me. So let's get into today's reading. Do they truly care for this connection? Should you wait? Should you move on? Um, and I kind of want to leave that for you guys to decide. Um, we'll kind of see if there's anything very specific that does come through um, with the messages today. And just keep in mind, like I said, it is a general reading. I do not choose the messages that come through. Um, if you feel like it doesn't really fit what your situation is with your person, um, then you may want to choose another pile or check out one of the other readings or one of the other readers that are available on YouTube. Um, there are plenty of good readers um, out there. So pile number one, we have the Nine of Hearts card. The Nine of Hearts, and we have it with this red hematoid quartz for pile number one. All of the decks I use are always listed in the description box for you guys. Pile number two, we have the card, the Ace of Hearts, with this Angel Aura Rose Quartz for pile number two. And then pile number three is the Six of Hearts with this Pink Rose Quartz Organite for pile number three. So once again, do they truly care for this connection? Should you wait? Should you move on? Um, pause the video if you need a little bit more time and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pal one. So for those of you that resonated with the nine of hearts and the red hematoid quartz, this is going to be your reading today. And we are asking spirit, does your person truly care for your connection? So let's see pile number one. Does pile number one person that they have within their mind, do they truly care for this connection? Okay, we do have the four of swords. Do they truly care for this connection? Some of you could be in a no contact situation with this person. Um, we have the Four of Swords energy here. So the Four of Swords is more this energy of a rest, a break, um, a period of clearing the mind and reflecting. Um, so some of you, yes, you could be in no contact with this person. I'm also seeing that we do have the Nine of Swords energy here. And so this is a lot of anxieties. Um, fears, worries about the future um, that this person could have. Do they truly care for this connection? Pile number one. We have the page of wands in reverse. So there is definitely some fear here with your person. We also have the tower energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming through with that page of wands. Do they truly care for this connection? Pile number one. We also have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so I am feeling a withdrawn energy here uh, with the Eight of Cups. This is about detachment, letting go, walking away. Um, for some of you, we have the Tower here. So some of you, this could be a like a breakup, a separation um, that you and this person have had. And it could have resulted in this person detaching or letting go, walking away and having a lot of time, I feel like, to really reflect on uh, this connection. 
do they truly care for this connection pile number one does a person truly care okay so we have these six of wands we also have the eight of wands in reverse I'm also seeing potential delayed communication um, with that Eight of Wands in reverse. We do have the Three of Cups energy here. Okay, bottom of the deck, we do have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles energy is when your person is taking some time to really reevaluate and reassess uh, the connection that you do have with them. And so they could really be taking their time to really think about whether or not this connection is something that they do want to be a part of. For those of you that have had a breakup or a separation from this person, um, I feel like this could be something that they are thinking about. It is if reconciliation is the right choice, the right decision. Um, We've also got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we've got some Earth sign energy here as well. So, yeah, I'm just kind of feeling like your person. I'm definitely seeing the detachment here um, where this person has kind of withdrawn their energy, and it could be that they needed some time and some space to really kind of think about things or collect their thoughts. With the Four of Swords energy, I am seeing the fear here with the Nine of Swords about this person like coming forward or communicating with you. Um, I feel like with the Six of Wands energy here, this person could be allowing, I almost feel like allowing their ego to interfere. And that ego is something that is filled with anxieties, worries. Um, so I want to clarify this energy. Okay. So let's see. Pile number one. Let's start with this four of swords. Why is the four of swords energy here? Wow. I just threw half my deck over here. <laughs> okay. So let's try this again. What is this Four of Swords energy here? Okay, there we go. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords energy here, I, I'm not really seeing uh, a whole lot of feelings and emotions here quite yet. Okay, and it doesn't really mean that they're not here. I'm just not seeing them yet. Um, I, I feel like with the Three of Cups energy here, that this person may be reflecting upon the the joy or the happiness uh maybe the time that you guys have spent with each other and having fun um things of that nature but we have the queen of swords energy here that is clarifying this four of swords uh gemini libra aquarius and so the queen of swords energy is going to be more of an of a uh, detached energy in that they are kind of cutting through feelings, emotions to think logically about the connection. Um, and with the Queen of Swords, it can also be that this person is very guarded um, as well with kind of opening up with their feelings, their emotions. Why is the Nine of Swords energy here? Okay, so we do have, again, the Eight of Cups, but this time coming in in the reverse. So it almost makes me feel like this person has tried to detach and pull away from this connection. Uh, but almost like they kind of haven't made that final decision about completely letting it go. Like there's something here that they feel about... completely letting go of the connection almost like they tried to walk away they tried to detach they may have tried to move on from from the connection but 
there's something that's kind of keeping them in this place where they haven't made that decision to fully uh, move on from the connection that they do have with you. Um, it's almost like they feel like they may need to move on, but they can't. Like there's just something there that's keeping them from letting go or moving on from the connection completely. Okay. What is this page of wands energy here in reverse? And they may even get a little bit of anxiety about it too. Like when they think about it, like, should I just walk away from this? Um, or should I not? And I feel like that's a lot where the, this anxiety lies is that what does it mean to fully let go of this connection? We have the four of pentacles. There is a fear of loss here. Okay. There is a strong attachment that this person does have with the four of pentacles, but there is this fear about, I feel like taking this connection forward. Um, I feel like they do fear losing you. Um, but they also fear taking things say to the next level, or if you guys are broken up, like reconciling with each other or, you know, uh, fully open themselves up to commitment or, you know, whatever that may be. So let's see what this tower energy is here. So it almost feels like this person's kind of like they're on the fence, you know? And so for you, it could be that you kind of feel that either this person has stopped talking to you completely or that they're giving you mixed signals. What is this tower energy here? Why is the tower here? The king of swords. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this tower energy, in addition to it being some type of upheaval, you know, that has may have happened in your connection for some of you, the tower can also be like, like, um, this realization or an epiphany, like this clarity that's kind of come through, right? And we have that with the King of Swords and the King of Swords, like just like the Queen of Swords, is a very logical thinker. It's, it's trying to stay objective um, and kind of look at the entire picture of the connection that we're seeing with that Seven of Pentacles, which is really evaluating, assessing. So let's see what this Eight of Cups energy is here. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is this Six of Wands energy here? I almost feel with this Queen of Wands being in reverse that this person has some self-sabotaging behavior. What is this Six of Wands energy here? Okay, so we've got the Ten of Wands, and then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So I kind of feel like in the spotlight for your person right now is the idea of long-term commitment. And or commitment, you know, commitment to you and that being something that is overwhelming them. Making them maybe feel a lot of stress, maybe even a lot of pressure. Why is the eight of wands in reverse? For some of you, there could have been some type of misunderstanding, mixed signals, uh, miscommunication happening with this eight of wands in reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's kind of like this person has delayed planting this seed for starting 
or creating a new solid beginning for this relationship. Okay, because that Ace of Pentacles would be the start of something, you know, the opportunity being there, right? Whether that is beginning again or beginning for the first time, depending on what your situation is with this person. And that Eight of Wands energy could be a delay in action. It could be a miscommunication between the two of you. Um, you know, or even a delayed communication between the two of you back and forth some type of misunderstanding here or this delay here with investing something solid and tangible for you in this connection. So let's see what this Three of Cups energy here. This, again, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is evaluating they could be evaluating, you know, if if they're true if they truly feel happy in this connection. Again, I'm not seeing a whole lot of feelings and emotion that this person may be really like stuffing them away with that king and queen of swords. Like I said, it's a very detached, it can be a very detached energy and make you feel like you cannot read the person. Like, do they really love me or do they really like me? What's the deal? What's the Seven of Pentacles energy here? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So we've got your person evaluating whether or not they're wanting invest, to invest into this connection long term. Okay. If it's worth it to put in the time, the energy for long term connection, relationship. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like this person is, I don't want to say they're doing a good job of hiding their feelings, but they probably are with that king and queen of swords, kind of like not opening up feelings. Okay, so let's move into our oracle messages. Where do I want to go? I think I'm going to go into the romance angels. So let's see. So does pile number one's person truly care? For this connection. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Mm, okay, look at this. Look at the way that they're kind of embracing each other. We have this woman that's kind of standing here and she's got her arms, you know, kind of wrapped around him. She's looking really deeply into his eyes. She's probably, you know, expressing her heart, her feelings. And to me, it's kind of like he's looking at her like, I don't know. I'm just kind of getting this energy where there is, you know, maybe the person that you're kind of dealing with, being that we have the Queen and King of Swords here, that they have some difficulty with expressing themselves and opening up with feelings and emotions. There's definitely some fear here, like I said, with that Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands in reverse. You know, it's almost like they're delaying giving the green light, the move ahead with this, and knowing that they need to open up and express their feelings because like I said there's not many feelings and emotions here with this guarded energy here they're trying to be very king of swords very queen of swords just I'm being objective I am thinking about things rationally and I'm trying to make the best decision okay let's see what else do they truly care for this connection does your person truly care? Okay, so we have honeymoon here. And it says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So they may be feeling that you guys also need to spend more time with each other as well. And we have past life relationship. And it says, you have known each other before. Now, some of you may feel like you do have a really, you know, strong connection with your person where you feel like, 
It feels so familiar. It feels like we've, we've been together before. Um, so let's move into the next Oracle Pile 1. So you guys can kind of see from this energy, you know, whether it's worth it for you to wait, you know, especially if you've already kind of opened up your own heart and feelings to this person. And if they're still kind of confused about their own feelings and emotions, you know, and also how long has it been? How, you know, how long has this situation been like this? How long has it been if it's gone kind of stagnant for you, for some of you? Okay, so we have commitment coming up. And it says your relationship moves to the next stage of love and unity. Do they truly care? We also have secrets here. What are the secrets? Maybe, okay, maybe commitment is something that this person is keeping a secret right now. Um, I am going to clarify it. Let's see. Do they truly care for this connection? Pile one. Does your person truly care? We have grief. We also have lust. Pure sexual chemistry between you. Unleash the energy and don't hold back. Okay. So you've also got a lot of passion and energy that is, you know, between the two of you. We also have seduction here as well. So the two of you may have a really strong sexual chemistry with each other. Okay. I want to get one more. Do they truly care for this connection? We have dead end. Okay. So to me, that's kind of where I feel like this person feels they're where they're stuck here we have grief here so if the two of you are like let's just say separated then that could be a lot of maybe this person having regrets you know to me being not sure about whether or not this connection is leading is it really leading somewhere that's where that evaluation comes in, the reassessment of the connection. Okay. And then underneath the deck, we have meditation, which is that four of swords. Quiet reflection allows you to discover the soul answers that you seek. Okay. So this person is trying to really, I feel like, dig deep within themselves to find out whether or not, like I said, is it long term, the ten of pentacles and the seven of pentacles there. Your person's evaluating whether or not this is something that is truly meant to last or the two of you are truly meant to, you know, fated to be with one another. Uh, I want to clarify this secrets energy here. Why is the secrets energy here? The page of swords. To me, this is some skepticism that your person might have. I am looking at this also because we do have the page. And the page, um, I almost feel like this energy here with the secrets in the page of swords is that your person doesn't know how to articulate what it is that they're thinking or feeling. Okay, let's get one more. What is this energy of secrets? Temperance in reverse. So they're feeling something is off balance here. And it could really be, you know, themselves. Um, or they could be feeling that there's something imbalanced in the connection. And that's kind of what's making them be kind of like on the fence. Commit or, or not? Is this really not going anywhere? Right? Okay, so let's keep up with what else is going on here. Let's see. Do 
do they truly care for this connection? We have expect drama and it says misery loves company emotionally immature. Emotionally immature. Okay. Now, I mean, that can go either way. They, they could be an emotionally immature person, you know, Let's see what else. Do they truly care for this connection? Let me love you. And it says, I don't know what you're used to. Let me in. I'll show you something different. And I almost feel like because we have the king and queen of swords, like I said, this can be more emotionally detached and very guarded that your person may be the one that is emotionally immature. And if they are, this is kind of the energy that you're trying to bring to them and to let them know it's okay. It's safe for you to open up with your feelings. You know, like just let me love you. Okay, let's see. We have just vibing and it says getting to know each other. And we also have intense and it says expect lots of passion with this connection and remember too much of anything can be bad. Okay. So it's all where spirit is saying about keeping things in balance um, within your connection, right? So we're not solely focusing on just the lust and the chemistry and the traction. We're also trying to really lay the foundation for a connection that can withstand kind of, you know, that's that uh, time, right? Yeah. So I'm feeling like there is, you know, some emotionally look at this at the bottom secretive. This one is hiding their real feelings. Okay, they're hiding their real feelings. Wow. Okay. So let's go into these little ones here. So do they truly care for this connection? Wow, we have you changed my world. So I almost feel like even though this person is, you know, emotionally immature here and maybe have some difficulties with opening up I feel like they do care like they really do care and and it may be that you know opening up with feelings and emotions is something very difficult for them and they may kind of pull away or detach and make you feel like they don't care or that you know they're kind of really close one time and then kind of guarded and you know pulled away the next time and we have you changed my world here you know and this love especially if a person is emotionally immature and very guarded and if they have been really hurt in the past with that grief energy you showing this person something different you know it's not like it's gonna fix things overnight you know, so I definitely feel like this is kind of like a work in progress with this person. Okay, let's see what else. Do they truly care? Wow, I want to be with you. And we also have move on. All right, so again, commitment, dead end. I want to be with you, move on. It's like, what is going on with your person? All right. Wow. Yeah, look at that. I don't know what you're used to. Let me in. I'll show you something different. Like maybe this person also has issues with trusting 
right? Trusting someone with their heart. Do they truly care for this connection? Does pile number one's person truly care? We have kisses here, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. Wow. This person falling in love and afraid, I feel like, to just let it happen. Right? And that could be the struggle for them here. Was feeling that you guys have something with each other and it may even be something where their feelings are kind of hitting them very unexpectedly that they feel this strong but they don't know how to act they don't know if this is like too scary you know wow so do they truly care we also have karmic relationship and it says fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Okay? Now, for some of you, it could be a karmic relationship that you have with this person. However, it can also be that this person has a lot of, or you could even be experiencing a lot of karmic energy with this person. Where they do have these triggers with, you know, when things get too, like, real or, you know, whatever it may be, that there are still these um, triggers that are kind of coming up for this person, right? They could also be someone who has not had the greatest relationships, and they may be someone who has some pretty drama-filled relationships with karmic partners in the past, and because of that, it's kind of making this person feel nervous about opening themselves up again, okay? So let's see, let's get one more. Do they truly care for this connection? We have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, a fear of intimacy and listening to the ego, right? And we're seeing that your person's ego is filled with fear that is telling them, this is getting too serious, this is getting too close, this is scaring me, I need to run, things are intense, things are passionate. Um, and then underneath the deck, we have hammer, okay, with wedding rings, union, soul connection, um, the person running for like, you know, a deeper level commitment. And we've also got the hammer, sabotage, okay, self-sabotage. Wow. You know, so it's almost like you can't, you know, really force someone or to heal their wounds, you know, and, and to get over certain things, right? Because we all go through this with relationships that we learn a lot of valuable lessons from. And we can choose to keep our baggage with us and bring it with us into future relationships and sabotage those relationships. Or we can choose to change and to fix it and to grow and evolve and not bring that stuff with us. So like I said, I kind of feel like this is a work in progress with this person. I do feel like they do truly care for the connection, but there's also some triggers that this person does have. And like I said earlier, they have a tendency to self-sabotage. They hide their real feelings. I feel like they do are, are um, their feelings are deeper than they're letting on. And they could even be pushing you away with this move on energy here. You know, running away from commitment, running away from marriage or, you know, any type of deeper level of commitment. But it's kind of like part of them says, OK, this is scary. I, I need to just let this person go and move on. And then afraid to do that, afraid to completely walk away and say, OK, I, I, I'm not going to do this. I can't do this. And I'm closing this door completely. And that's where I feel like your person is just like that, too, scares them from not having you and not being with you. And it's kind of like this double-edged sword where they do have to really sit down 
and think about how these types of behaviors are truly affecting their relationships, right? And you can, you know, do what you can, like we saw with this express your love here, where you are opening up with your feelings and your emotions. And we have your person here that's just like, what do you mean you love me? What do you, you know, it's just kind of like, this is different. Um, and it, it's, you know, could be something that's very out of the ordinary that they, maybe they haven't experienced before with something like this, you know, well, what do you mean you love me? What do you mean? You know, all of these different things. And so, you know, I feel like, of course, at the end of the day, it's always your choice whether or not you wait. Like I said, really take the time to think about, okay, well, how long have we been in this stage? You know, do I feel like this person is actively trying to work on these insecurities, these fears that they have? And they're showing me that little by little that they are working on it and they're trying to be better and trying to do better for showing me ways in this connection. Or are they just kind of completely like not doing anything, right? So you have to really think, is it, is it worth it? Is it worth waiting to see what happens or should you just let this person go? Okay, so I am going to leave it here with this and that's kind of really for you uh, to decide, you know, seeing your person's energy here, knowing that yes, they have feelings here, but there are some self-sabotaging type of things this person does need to work on. Okay, so I'm just going to get some closing messages for you, pile number one. We have the butterfly ferrets and it says, I am reborn. And then we, oh, wow, how cute. Both of them came out with ferrets on them. <laughs> um, it says, change is natural, good, and yes, it can hurt. Okay. So to me, both of these are talking about transformation. I'm being reborn here, or I am reborn. There's transformation here. And then we also have change is natural good, and yes, it can hurt. So it almost makes me feel too like this connection uh, may also be going through some type of transformative process, you know, where if this person is really considering opening up with their feelings, you know, and showing you at least that there is some type of um, uh, op opening up future here. Underneath the bottom of the deck, we do have set your course and it says know where you wish to go, have a plan and the right direction. Okay. So with the change is good and yes, it can hurt for some of you. If you feel like I've tried with this person, it's been years, you know, and this person just continues to be this way or they continue to stay no contact or they're not changing, right? Then that could be where this is spirit saying you know, you may have to switch things up. You may have to decide to let this person go. Yes, it's, it could be painful, but is it going to be worth it for you to, so that you're not also keeping yourself stuck? So this is spirit saying, set your course here. Know where it is that you wish to go. Create some type of a plan. Set some boundaries. And so that you're, you know, moving in the right direction, whether along with this connection or away from this connection. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you, pound number one. I hope that this was helpful for you, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Hi, pound two. So for those of you that resonated with the Ace of Hearts and the Angel Aura Rose Quartz, this is going to be a reading, and we're asking Spirit today, does your person truly care for this connection that you do have with them? So you know whether or not this is something that you should wait on or something that you should move on from. Um, and I'm going to kind of let you guys decide based off of what the energy comes through, as well as kind of what you're experiencing in your situation. Okay. But if there's any specific messages about waiting, moving on, then I will let you uh, know. So let's see. Pile two. Does your person truly care? for this connection that you do have with them. Does pile number two's person truly care for the connection? Okay, so we do have the nine of cups in reverse. Do they truly care? We have the queen of pentacles in reverse. 
we have the Ace of Cups. We also have the Eight of Cups. We have the Emperor. We also have the Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups. Let's get one more. Do they truly care? And then we also have the Five of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Five of Swords. Okay. So we had both the Five of Swords and Five of Wands both come out. Um, so I am feeling that this person is feeling conflicted. Um, feeling conflicted, feeling confused. Okay. We also have the Five of Cups energy here. Now the Five of Cups can be, you know, regrets, guilt, pain, loss, some type of disappointment. Um, that they're feeling. I do see, we do have the Ace of Cups here. So I do feel like they do see this as an opportunity for love. But I'm also seeing this energy that is withdrawn here with that Eight of Cups. Now, for some of you, that Eight of Cups could indicate that this person has walked away or pulled away, detached from the connection. Um, and I feel like in that detachment, we have the Emperor here. And so with the Emperor... The Emperor is about uh, strategy and planning and focus and discipline. Um, and it can also be, you know, about a commitment. So I almost feel like there is some sadness here with the, the Nine of Cups in reverse and also the Five of Cups. There's some type of maybe even a lack of fulfillment or happiness that this person has. There is definitely this confusion here with the Seven of Cups. Some of you with the Five of Swords and Five of Wands could have had some type of differences or conflict that has occurred in your connection. And I'm seeing with the Queen of Pentacles also being here in reverse. To me, this is more of an ungrounded energy um, that your person does have surrounding long-term um, commitment. Okay? Um I almost feel like they feel like they're trying to take the focus off of the commitment or at least committing in this situation. I feel like the Five of Swords energy could also be about your person feeling some type of defeat when it comes to maybe love, relationships. We do have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries energy here, which are the strongest that are coming through. So let's start clarifying this a little bit. Okay, so what is this Nine of Cups energy here in reverse? We have the Hangman. Okay, what is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? The Nine of Wands. Just a little bit more of a guarded type of energy that this person has. There can also be some wounding here. Whether this person has been wounded from this relationship, this connection, they could be kind of putting up a wall. Okay. With the hangman energy, it's kind of like this person feels like they are, or your connection could be kind of stuck in limbo. Um, they could be trying to gain some perspective and, you know, really trying to figure out, is this connection something that is making me truly happy? What is this ace of cups here? The ace of wands. They feel chemistry and attraction. Okay. And... I want to get one more. Why is the Ace of Cups here? A death card. I almost feel like if, for some of you, that death card it could indicate that there was a breakup here for some of you.
And if there was a breakup, you know, there could be a, that feeling of loss, that feeling of emptiness, that feeling of void, having regrets over ending it. And I almost feel like undecided as to whether or not to renew the connection between the two of you. We've got some Scorpio energy. Let's see what this Eight of Cups is here. And I feel like with the Eight of Cups energy there, I mean, I'm sorry, not the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, that there is feelings, you know, emotions that are there. We also have the Eight of Pentacles here. So like I said earlier, I'm seeing this withdrawn energy here with the Eight of Cups where the person has, may have pulled back, right, or withdrawn their energy. And there is a focus on self here with that Eight of Pentacles. Okay, why is the Emperor here? You know, the Emperor can also be strategy, planning, um, being able to see things from a higher perspective so they can focus. Why is the Emperor here? Again, the Emperor, the Emperor with the Emperor. Let's get one more. Okay, so we also have the High Priestess. And then we also have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Okay. The Six of Pentacles in reverse can definitely talk about an imbalance here. Okay. Meaning that the two of you could be on two different pages as well. Okay. Um, it could be that they're wondering if this is truly like a one-sided situation where one person's feelings are, say, stronger than the other person's feelings. Um, they may even be feeling if they have the time, the love, the energy to give to this connection, right? Because the Six of Pentacles, when it's in the upright, this is speaking of reciprocity, meaning that there is equal give and take in a partnership. You give in the same amount of energy as your person gives. And to me, with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, is where this person, I feel like, is trying to really think about whether or not this is a situation that is mutual. You know, like, are you both looking for commitment? Are you both wanting to, are you both open to seeing this as an opportunity for, for love, for, for beginning something here? And I feel like with the high priestess, they're trying to listen to what their intuition is telling them to do in this situation, right? Going within the self, trying to find those answers and they may also be kind of very mysterious and, and really not revealing anything to you, not showing anything um, to you. We've got some Pisces energy. Now we've got the Hierophant coming out in reverse. Now some of you may have lost this relationship or this connection. Okay. Or this person, I'm also getting this message here, where this person may be afraid of like... A traditional type of a commitment meaning like they could be afraid of marriage they could be afraid of you know they could have certain belief systems or values that are also blocking them um blocking them from being able to be open i feel like to commitment here okay so let's see what else. Let's get one more. Why is the Five of Cups here? The King of Swords. Like this person trying to think very logically about things, about their feelings, emotions. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Nine of Cups in reverse again. Nine of Cups in reverse. 
Yeah. So to me, it's kind of giving me this energy like where this person is like trying to decide whether or not this relationship is truly making them happy. Like, is this relationship truly making them feel fulfilled? Okay. They could be losing faith for some of you, like having lost faith, um, feeling a little hopeless, you know, even. Okay, let's see what this Five of Wands energy is here. The Hermit Virgo energy. Where this person is truly looking within themselves. Okay. Truly looking within themselves. They may be kind of choosing to be alone or choosing to be single, choosing solitude, right? Trying to really look within the self to see, like I said, does this relationship really make me happy? Is this really what I'm looking for? And needing to really spend some time in reflection and introspection to think about whether or not, or even to kind of work through the conflict whether inner inner conflict that they're dealing with why is the five okay so we've got the seven of swords and then we also have the queen of cups in reverse so there's definitely cancer scorpio pisces um there is blocked uh repressed suppressed feelings emotions emotional instability okay or their emotions can kind of be all over the place and to me, that Seven of Swords energy is also this person uh, avoidant, pulling away, running away from their feelings here. Or even communicating, you know, what it is, why they're feeling that way. Okay. And then we've also got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here with uh, that King of Swords. Okay. Okay. So let's go into our oracle here. Does pile number two's person truly care for this connection? I feel like they've got, they've got some mixed feelings here. Do they truly care for this connection? Pile two. We have getting to know each other and it says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens do they truly care for this connection we have playfulness and then we also have reconciliation okay now for some of you like i said you could this could be an ex-partner um Right, And to me, with the getting to know each other, it's about taking time. Taking their time. Like not ready to commit here. Because their feelings and their emotions are still kind of like unstable. And like I said, with that Six of Pentacles in reverse, they're, you know, trying to figure out, is this a one-sided situation or do I truly have feelings towards pile number two? Okay. Let's see what else. Does pile number two's person truly care for this connection? We have birth and we also have friendship. And this person, you know, could also be wanting to take things slow. For some of you, it could be a fairly new connection as well. Starting off slow, starting off as friends for some of you. Do they truly care for this connection? We have Snowflake Crystal. This love bond is unique as a snowflake once in a lifetime. And we also have Message here. And we have a rebirth. Yeah, for some of you, this could be an ex-partner. Okay. Or they could be going through their own rebirth process here. 
okay? They may feel that the two of you guys do really have something special with each other. I just feel like they kind of feel a little iffy <clears throat> about commitment. You know, about truly committing to something. Let's see what else. Does pile number two's person truly care for this connection? We have keeping in touch, and it says small talk here and there, but definitely still holding on. Now, some of you, that could be a situation where you kind of, you feel like you have a strong connection with your person, and, but it's not really progressing, you know? Whoa. Okay, so we have just vibing here, getting to know each other. Do they truly care for this connection? Missing you. We also have intense. Expect lots of passion with this connection and remember too much of anything can be bad. And we also have secret admirer and it says, yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching. So they could be maybe checking out social media, right? Yeah, it almost feels like they feel that there's something there. And some of you could even be just friends, you know, and, and have started to develop feelings for this person. And for some of you, yeah, I'm picking up this person could be watching social media and the two of you talking maybe a little bit more infrequently for some of you. You know, just kind of taking things slow, maybe starting off as friends. But the person, I feel like, like I said earlier, still on the fence about whether or not this is really going to be something that leads into something more. It's kind of the vibe that I'm, I'm getting from this. So do they truly care for this connection? You are my world. I'm confused. Okay. Stop haunting my dreams. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so this person could have you on their mind a lot. And we also have we live in different worlds, okay? So the majority of this energy here with these three cards are is confusion. Okay? This is confusion here. Um like I said, we have the Seven of Cups energy here as well, right? They could be fantasizing, thinking about you. Some of you, we live in different worlds, could be that they're feeling that there are some differences between the two of you. Like if you guys say like there's, it's a long distance connection or you guys have two completely different lives, you know, or cultures or religions or, you know, anything that is there. I feel like they do hold a very strong place for this connection because we have secret admirer here, vibing, keeping in touch with you, missing you, feeling things are intense, feeling things are unique between the two of you, messaging here, so some type of communication. There is, you know, maybe uh, the two of you working on building this foundation here with friendship or they think of you as a really good friend. We have getting to know each other. You know, so I definitely feel like there's interest here with your person. Like I said, I just kind of feel it's that they're a little bit iffy about if this is going to turn into something more or, if it, you know, it's that that process, you know, in, in, in connections where you're trying to figure out, is this really what I'm looking for? Is this really what I want? Um, so let's go a little bit more. Do they truly care for this connection? We have passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. We also have stabbed in the back and it says heartbreak, pain, separation, a shocking attack or uh, deception. 
Now, some of you, you know, that could be a situation where this person is feeling some type of pain or heartache from past, or if the two of you had broken up, it could be dealing with that as well. Okay. Unless literally your person feels stabbed in the back by you, but I'm not really kind of getting that vibe here. Let's see. Do they truly care for this connection? We have girl talk here and it says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. Okay. So again, more of an independent energy, not so much sure about commitment. We also have keys on a ring and it says many options, a decision, unconventional, right? We did have the hierophant in reverse, which would be more unconventional, not a traditional commitment, meaning that they may not be completely open to a marriage or a commitment in which the two of you say are like living together, moving in with each other or boyfriend and girlfriend or, you know, girlfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend. Um, and then we have a string along here and one night stand. Okay. So to me, it, like, yes, there's a lot of intensity. There's a lot of passion that you guys have. And if some of you, if you are, say, like friends with benefits, and it's just kind of like that person is, you know, not quite sure, like, is this really going to be something that makes me want to settle down or that I feel like we actually do have a future together? That's just kind of the iffiness that I, that I feel like this person feels um, surrounding this, right? And just kind of trying to keep things more casual, you know, still getting to know you feeling that you guys have some type of connection here, but also feeling so much internal conflict. Okay. So with this, you know, of course, like I said, in the beginning, you have to really decide, is it worth waiting for, or should you move on? And that is really dependent upon, you know, how long have you been in this cycle with this person? You know, if it's still something fairly new, maybe only like a couple months, then you may want to give it some more time and just kind of see how things pan out. But if it's something where you've been like this for a year or two years, three years, you know, then that's where you have to really, okay, say, you know what, this is really isn't going anywhere. You know, we've been like this for years and I can't keep going on. You know, I have to kind of withdraw my energy from this. Okay. So I'm going to kind of leave that for you to kind of decide what you think you know, based off of what is here. So I'm just going to get some last messages, advice, guidance, any messages spirit has for you. Pile number two messages that spirit feels you need to hear. We have bats in the belfry and it says you can achieve great things. And then we also have nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies, and elemental messengers. So this is another way that I feel like spirit is wanting to kind of communicate with you, knowing that, you know, especially since we're looking into like a love situation today, that spirit is wanting you to know that you have the potential to have a truly happy, successful relationship is that if that's truly what you're looking for, right? And so you may have to really decide if you feel like this connection is truly going to give that to you, or do you feel like it is stringing you along, or that you feel like this isn't really leading anywhere, okay? Or if you feel like, you know, there is, there is hope here, right? We also have uncertainty here, and it says choose who you will become, right? And that can also be telling you here that there is a lot of uncertainty with the connection, and you're needing to choose what it is that you're going to do in this connection. You're either going to keep yourself, you know, with this situation, or you can choose to say, move beyond it. Right. And look for maybe someone who's, who's not feeling confused or who's not feeling like they are stringing you along. If you do feel that way, right. Or if they're making you feel like you're an option, you know, or they're not making you a priority. Okay. So I'm going to leave your reading here for you. Pile number two. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.
Hi Pile 3, so for those of you that resonate with the Six of Hearts card and the Rose Quartz Organite, this is going to be a reading today. And we're asking Spirit, does your person truly care for this connection? Um, so that you can kind of decide whether or not you should wait or if you should move on. Um, and as I told Pile 1 and Pile 2, I'm going to leave that up for you to decide because ultimately it is your decision about whether or not you should wait or move on from the connection. Um, so we're just going to start off with our tarot and then move into our oracle messages. So does your person truly care for this connection? Pile number three. Do they truly care for this connection? We have the ace of wands in reverse. The five of cups. Tower we have the Sun in reverse the four of wands what is that the hermit we also have the king of cups And we also have the Five of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Swords. So with the Eight of Swords energy here, your person is very much in their head about this. And the Eight of Swords can be when we keep ourselves in a mental prison filled with negative thinking, negative thoughts, uh, self-sabotaging type of thoughts, fears, insecurities, worries. It's kind of like obsessively thinking about a situation and kind of feeling immobilized in a way that you cannot think clearly, you cannot make a decision, choice, you know, trying to sort through a lot. I am feeling, because we do have the Five of Cups energy here, that there is a quite a bit of heart heaviness here. I also notice you are the only pile that truly shows the depth of this person having some very strong feelings towards you. And I'm seeing that in the King of Cups. So I am seeing here, we do have the Five of Pentacles. So this is speaking of some type of loss or emptiness or void. Um, you know, for some of you, this Five of Pentacles could represent some type of abandonment. Um, that is here. There could be a fear of abandonment or it could have been that the two of you have been separated um, because I'm also seeing the tower energy here. So some of you, that tower could represent some type of upheaval, turmoil um, that has occurred in the connection. And, you know, maybe a breakup, separation here. And I feel like with the hermit energy here, this person has been doing a lot of reflection, a lot of introspection about this connection. Um, I feel like because we do have the Ace of Wands in reverse, this is talking about your person feeling some unstable energy um, and kind of them needing to kind of rethink what their intentions are, what their actions are. And we do have the Four of Wands here. So, so for some of you say like you are broken up, you are separated right now. There has been some ghosting maybe for some of you with that five of pentacles that there is this idea of reunion or reconciliation for some of you or even the idea of being in a committed relationship. I feel like I said, because we do have the king of cups energy here, there are some very strong feelings that this person does have towards you. Okay, very strong feelings. And if there is any kind of, you know, things going on between you and them, such as separation or a breakup or some difficult energies that are happening, it could be that they are experiencing pain, loss, you know, guilt or uh, sadness, um, regrets over something, you know. Um, and then we've also got the sun energy there in reverse as well. And with that sun in reverse, I do feel like this person feels like there has been some type of maybe like a setback that has occurred in your connection. Um, I feel like they're trying to see the good 
in this situation, whatever it is that's happening between the two of you. Um, so I want to I want to clarify these energies. I'm going to use another deck here. And we've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have some strong Leo energy, strong Virgo energy uh, that is coming through. So let's see. Let's start off with this Ace of Wands energy here. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? We've got the Knight of Wands. Okay. So it's kind of like your person is trying to rethink those, like I said, the parameters, the actions in this situation. And the Knight of Wands would be the, the energy moving forward. So I feel like your person is knowing that they do have these strong feelings for, towards you. And trying to reflect on how they're going to act moving forward in this connection here. What is this Five of Cups? Why is the Five of Cups here? We have the Hangman in reverse. We've also got Aries Leo Sagittarius with that Knight of Wands. Why is the Tower here? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. What is the sun energy in reverse? Five of Pentacles again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling like if you guys are not together with this person right now, they're definitely feeling it. Definitely feeling the, the loss here. Let's see what this Four of Wands energy is here. The Ten of Pentacles, which would be the long term. Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Interesting. To me, it's kind of like because this Hierophant energy here, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the, to me, this is all about commitment right here all about commitment then we also have the nine of pentacles energy here which is more of a single independent energy so maybe there is this decision you know that this person is feeling very back and forth about because they do have strong feelings towards you But I almost feel like there is this feeling uh, a bit torn. But you know, it's like they have this serious energy towards love and strong feelings and commitment here. Uh, we've got some Taurus energy here. Let's see a little bit more. Why is the Hermit here? They can also be seeing you as someone, too, with that Nine of Pentacles. Really seeing you as someone who is, you know, kind of like, for some of you, could be someone who's very secure in yourself and very independent. And that could also be something that very that draws them into you, is that you just have this energy about you. Okay, we've got the Knight of Cups in reverse with this Hermit energy here. And then we also have the Two of Cups here. So there is relationship that is definitely on your person's mind. Commitment, partnership, romantic feelings. Um, and then we have this Knight of Cups that's coming out in reverse. I almost feel like this person knows and sees that there is this opportunity for a romantic relationship with you. But it's almost like... This person could be suppressing, holding back feelings and emotions. Or it could even be that they're unsure about whether or not they should come forward with this offer for you. And that what is it may be what's kind of like on their mind. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Two of Wands. That's that indecision right there. 
that indecision right there, how they're thinking to come forward here. And for some of you with that hangman in reverse, it could be that maybe it has for some of you, that it's been difficult for them to be able to also see things from your perspective as well. You know, they may have felt like they've been kind of like in this limbo place for a while. And, you know, the Five of Pentacles can be like this whole vibe of just feeling emptiness. There could be, like I said, fear of abandonment, um, pushing, you know, feeling shut out. Whether if this is you kind of making the feeling shut or they're choosing to shut you out. Um... And I feel like with that Seven of Pentacles energy here in reverse, it's that taking them time to reevaluate where they've put the work in to this connection. You know, like what can they do almost like to help this connection along here? Let's see what this King of Cups energy is here. Temperance. Yeah. And I, I feel like we've got Sagittarius here. Um, like the, your person feels that there is this balance between the two of you. Like you guys balance each other out. Why is the five of pentacles energy here? The five of cups. This person is really feeling some challenged energy here. Like I said, if you're broken up with this person right now, or you guys are just like things are struggling with moving ahead, there's just this challenging energy that this person is feeling. Uh, let's see. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person definitely has some strong feelings towards you. I want to see, why is the two of wands here? The ten of swords. It's like this person is just like in their head so much about this connection. So do they truly care for it? Yes, I definitely believe that they do. Definitely believe that this person does care for this connection. Okay, so do they truly care? Pile number three. Codependency. And it says, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now, codependency, you know, can be one of those things, but that addiction can also be like obsessive thinking, drugs, alcohol, any other pattern of behavior that this person has in a way that is kind of preventing them from being able to make clear choices. Do they truly care? for this connection, pile three. We also have free yourself and it says it's time to take back control of your life. And to me, what is trapping them is their own thoughts. That eight of swords, 10 of swords energy here. Do they truly care for this connection? We have make the effort. And it says great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. You know, and it could be that this person really is wanting to show you that they truly do care. Okay, so let's see. What else? Does pile number three's person truly care for this connection? We have solitude, which we were seeing earlier. I think 
you guys have the hermit? Yep, we have the hermit there. We also have self-love. And it says self-love is the cornerstone of sharing true love. Cherish you. So they may also feel that they have some work to do within themselves. This Ten of Swords can also be some really painful thing that they've experienced in their life. Whether a relationship ending, you know, if you've had a breakup with them, thinking about all that pain and kind of feeling, you know, that they may also need some time for themselves as well. Do they truly care for this connection? We have unrequited. And we have marriage here. Like I said, I kind of feel like there, there's this serious energy here about commitment. And then we have divine protection. And it says the universe is keeping your love connection safe. And then we also have a new chapter here. And it says a new chapter in your book of love is calling for a fresh start. We also have time and it says divine timing is bringing your bringing you together. True love is timeless. Now I want to see why this unrequited is here. I wonder if this person feels is wondering whether or not you share the same feelings as them. You know, if there's an imbalance here, because this king of cups is some pretty serious feelings, some well-developed feelings for some of you, especially if you have some history with this person, that king of cups would be some pretty deep feelings that are there. This is unconditional love, especially with the queen of cups here too. So I want to see what the, why is this unrequited love here? Why is this unrequited love here? The Six of Wands. I feel like this person is letting their ego get in the way. Why is there unrequited love here? The High Priestess. Like this person isn't revealing. This person is not revealing here. And we also have the Page of Wands in reverse. There are spheres here. fear yeah so they could be questioning you know what what it is that you also feel i feel like trying to get around these thoughts that they have they may also feel like i said that they need this time for themselves to really focus on self-love okay let's see does pile number three's person truly care for this connection? We have boot up and it says sex, cuddling, spending nights together. Situationship. And it says this can get confusing. Ask yourself, where is this going? What do you want? Now, some of you could be in that situation. It may not be for all of you, but... Some of you, the situationship energy is coming through. We also have sexual fantasies. I get lost thinking about you. Do they truly care for this connection? We have intent. So there's a lot of sexual energy coming through in this pile. Expect lots of passion with this connection. And remember, too much of anything can be bad. Do they truly care for this connection? We have confessions and it's just about to get real. Confessions. I want to know what the confession is. <laughs> what is this confession here? Maybe it's their feelings, that King of Cups. The Seven of Wands, which is this a little bit of a defensive energy. What is this confessions energy? The Seven of Cups, or there's confusion. And then we also have Justice in Reverse. Okay. 
with Libra energy. I almost feel like this person, we're seeing the confusion here. I feel like for some of you with the, the going between relationship versus being single is a thing here. And because this person is still confused or is, like I said, very much in their head, there is this imbalance here with the Justice card also being in reverse. You know? So with the unrequited here, to me, this person can have some uncertainty surrounding commitment here. Now, for those of you that are, say, kind of like in a situationship with this person, where the two of you do spend a lot of time with each other, there's a lot of passion, you know, things are very intense and passionate between the two of you. And I almost feel like the idea surrounding commitment is something that is a little bit of a challenge. And even if this person has some feelings here, they may be trying to hide them or to block them off. You know? So let's see what else. Do they truly care for this connection? We have my love for you still burns within. We have friend. I hear your voice. We also have stop haunting my dreams. And also I want you. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing the confusion still being here because we have friend energy. And then we also have I want you and my love still burns within. So I do feel, like I said, they, they do really care for the connection. To me, there is a little bit of, re of this resistance surrounding this, maybe taking things to the next level, you know, with this situation. Like I said, they're very much in their head there with that Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. Maybe thinking about you a lot here with that stop haunting my dreams. I hear your voice. Let's see what else. So do they truly care for this connection? We have the Grim Reaper. And it says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. We also have the sword in the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. We also have lightning, a sudden change, shocking news, a surprise epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. I feel like, like I said, because of this King of Cups, these are this is some strong feelings that are here. And feeling that you guys do have a connection here. And I feel like this person is wanting to tell you that they do feel confused. You know? They could do feel confused. Uh, or I, I feel like they have to have this awareness of where their feelings are at, their emotions are that or are at. And the time that they do spend alone here in reflection and thinking. Some of you with the sudden change here and the Grim Reaper, it could have been that this person just kind of cut things off with you very quickly, or you could have done that to them as well. Um, they could have even, when I'm picking up here, because we have situationship, boot up, friend here, and then I want you and my love still burns within. Um, like it's almost that this person has these feelings, but, and they're needing to confess them. 
And they may have even, um, with the shocking news here, told you, I don't feel stronger than a friend for you. You know? Like, I'm just kind of getting this vibe for some of you where, where this person has these feelings, but they're holding them back with that Knight of Cups in reverse, choosing to isolate themselves or to push you away. There's, like I said, abandonment here. We've got it here twice. The Five of Pentacles here twice. And the Five of Cups here twice. So I almost feel like this person is, is hiding their feelings because they're confused. And they may have told you for some of you that I don't see you like that or I don't have feelings for you like that or, you know, I only see you as a friend or this is solely lust for me, you know? I'm just kind of getting that for some of you here. Do they truly care for this connection? We've got the butterfly and it says relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. And then we also have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, a new phase and preparing for union. So some of you, it could even be that this person has, you know, made you feel abandoned, pushed you away. And in this time and space that they may have been spending in reflection and alone and thinking about all their feelings, there are these confessions that this person does want to come forward and communicate with you about. Because I feel like they have treated you unfairly with that justice card in reverse. They, and I feel like they acknowledge that, that they've treated you and the situation unfairly. And with that stop haunting my dreams, I feel like with whatever the situation is right now, they're obsessively thinking about it. Maybe they have some regrets, like I said, for some of you. Guilt, guilty conscience. And they know that they have to communicate a lot of what they're feeling because it's bothering them, I feel like. They, they feel like, I, uh, like, how am I leaving it like this? How are we leaving this situation like this? Okay, so I'm going to leave it here with this, but I want to get some guidance or advice, anything that spirit is wanting to bring forward at this time for you. But I feel like this person, like I said, they truly do have feelings here with the King of Cups and commitment. They may even see you like somebody as that they could be committed to, right? That they really could be committed to here. But I almost feel like denial, denial, like denial of their feelings, like holding them back, you know, almost like just tell me you love me already. Just tell me that you feel something towards me. So let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Pile number three. We have little brother, little sister, and it says siblings, younger friends, and responsibility. So some of you may even feel, because we do have friend here. You know, that you have really developed a strong bond, a strong connection um, with this person. Let's see. What is your advice or guidance? We have the fairy ring, new skills, advanced training, and rapid improvements. Responsibility. And then we have beauty and the beast, and it says you need some space in a relationship. Okay. Yeah, I almost feel like this is spirit saying you need some you need to give some space here. You know? For this person, maybe this person needs this self-love, needs this healing, needs this energy of solitude here for them to really get their head right because nothing's happening in that 8 of swords energy. Right? We cannot think clearly in that energy. And so if there is, you know, space right now where this person has gone no contact or things are not progressing, let it be what it needs to be right now, I feel like. You know, don't try to force it. 
I feel like we have new skills here, advanced training and rapid improvements. This space may be something that really helps to kind of solidify accountability, responsibility in your connection with this person. Okay, I feel like there's a lot going on. <laughs> there's a lot going on um, with this connection. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number three, I hope this is helpful for you and I will see you guys in the next reading.